morning, Sunday School. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our weekly online Sunday School videos. I hope your week's been going really good. Uh, I hear that some of you kids may even be back, uh, going back to school or back to the classroom. And I hear that uh, maybe more of you will be going back pretty soon. So that's really exciting. Uh, today, this week, we're going to have a different type of game before we get started. Before we've been doing a guessing game. Uh, we're going to do a guessing game of sorts. We did this uh, for Noah's Ark in the past. We're going to do a guess how many game. And this uh, today we're going to show a jar full of Starburst. I'm going to give you a better look at it in just a sec. Alright, I'll give you five more seconds to guess how many Starbursts were in that jar. Five, four, three, two, one. And the answer is 77. 77 Starbursts. And today, we're going to learn about what Jesus wants you to do 77 times. Before we get started with that, we're going to go with praise in three, two, one. All right, what do we need to do to grow? Read God's Word. I can't hear you. What do we need to do? Read God's Word. Jumping in the Lord, Satan didn't 
All right, kids, welcome back from Praise. Thank you, Praise Leaders, for those awesome Praise songs. Uh, now, before we get started, let's open with a word of prayer. So let's all get ready, bow our heads, let's close our eyes, and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much again for uh, giving us this Sunday, giving us these videos to reach out to the kids, Lord, to spread your lesson for the day, Lord. Uh, Lord, I just want to ask that you continue to be with our children, Lord, as uh, at least for Sunday school, Lord, they're still at home, worshiping from home, Lord. Just keep their hearts focused on you. Keep their ears uh, focused on listening to your word today, Lord. Lord, I pray that uh, they do their very best uh, to uh, to make you happy, uh, to follow your rules, to do what you wish them to do, Lord. And I pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. All right, so uh, we're going to uh, break this lesson up into two parts. The first part, we're going to start reading Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. And then for the second part, we're going to get into a little story time. Uh, Tanner, watch how many free throws I can shoot in a row. Okay, Dougie, let's see it. Tanner! Oh, sorry, Dougie. Oh, that's okay. Let's do it again. Tanner! <laughs> sorry, Dougie. That's okay. Let's do it one more time. Tanner! Sorry, Dougie. Oh, okay. Let's do it again. I accept your apology. Tanner! Sorry. Tanner! Sorry. Tanner! Sorry. Tanner! Sorry. Tanner! Oh, sorry, Dougie. Not this time! Come here! Uh, so let's get started. Let's read the uh, key verses, the first key verses for today, and that's Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. As the words will appear on the screen right now, let's read all together. Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Amen. So in the verses that we just read, we have Peter asking Jesus about forgiving others, about forgiveness when they sin against you. Now, when we say sin against you, what do we mean? Well, it could mean a lot of things. It could mean that, you know, someone is doing something mean to you, or saying something mean to you, or they do something that hurts your feelings, something that makes you feel bad, something that makes you feel mad. Uh, and Peter wants, uh, wants to know how many times should we forgive this someone for when they do something bad like that? And Peter suggests, should we do seven times, thinking that's a pretty high number? And if you think about it, and you think about that Dougie video we just watched, Seven times seems like a lot, doesn't it? Uh, you know, even even two or three times of forgiving someone is pretty tough to do, uh, because if they keep doing something uh, that you know that you don't like, uh, you know, it's hard to to forgive them. But what is Jesus's response? Well, Jesus says not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Now that's a lot, isn't it? We we saw all those starbursts. Uh, candy. There were 77 Starburst candy in there. And Jesus wants us to forgive 77 times. Now, when we hear 77, we could think of it, uh, think of it in two ways. May, you know, we could take it literally. Maybe Jesus wants us to forgive someone 77 times if they keep doing it over and over and over. So we have to keep counting uh, how many times we forgive someone up to 77, which is quite a high number. But probably, probably what Jesus really was trying to say was he just picked a really high number just to make a point, just to say that we should try our best 
to keep forgiving someone uh, when they're truly sorry for doing something to us uh, as much as we can, as much as possible. And then Jesus uh, tells another parable uh, to bring this point across about forgiveness. And he tells the parable of the unforgiving servant. Uh, and if you remember, a parable is a short story that teaches us a lesson. It teaches us a lesson about God, about uh, what God wants us to do, about God's kingdom. Uh, so this parable is the parable of the unforgiving servant. And it comes to us from Matthew chapter 18, verses 23 to 35. Now, instead of just reading the verses uh, on the screen like we usually do, uh, we're going to put this into a little story format. So I'm going to kind of do a little paraphrasing uh, and just kind of tell, tell a story of uh, how the parable of the unforgiving servant goes. All right, so let's watch the story and then we'll continue our lesson after that. This is the parable of the unforgiving servant. And it comes to us from Matthew chapter 18, verses 23 to 35. Now, before we start, we're going to introduce the main characters in this story. First, we have the king. And then we have the servant. The parable starts like this. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. So to put this more simply, this story starts with the king who is dealing with all the servants that owe him money. So one servant comes to the king and this servant owes the king a lot of money, 10,000 talents, which back then was probably so much money that there would be no way he could pay back all that money. Since the servant can't pay all this money back, he's going to be in big trouble. The servant falls to his knees in front of the king and begs the king, Have patience with me and I will pay you everything. The king feels bad for the servant and forgives his debt. He forgives all the money that he owes. After this, after the king forgave all his debt, the same servant who the king just forgave was walking along and he saw another servant. Now this other servant owed the servant money as well. He owed him about a hundred denarii, which in today's world is about two hundred dollars. The servant grabbed him and told him, pay me what you owe. The other servant fell down to his knees and begged him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. The servant said, No way, and put him in jail until he was able to pay back the money. The king hears about this and gets mad. He yells at the servant, telling him, I just forgave all the money you owe after you begged me. Shouldn't you have done the same thing and forgave the other servant? The king puts that servant into jail until he pays all the money that he owes. So today's lesson is all about forgiveness. In the first part of our lesson, we heard about Peter asking Jesus, well, how many times is enough? How many times do we need to forgive someone? And Jesus' answer was 77 times which me, I think means that we just need to keep forgiving others. You know, no matter how many times it takes, just keep forgiving, have forgiveness in our heart. Uh, and that's very tough, right? Uh, you know, in the, in the video, if you were in Dougie's place, would you be able to keep forgiving Tanner over and over and over up to 77 times? Or would you at some point just get angry or mad and not forgive someone? Uh, and that's, like I said, it's tough. It's so tough that at, at, at times we're probably going to need to pray. We're probably going to need to pray for help, ask Jesus for help uh, in forgiving someone uh, that many times. Or even just one time it might be tough. So let's ask Jesus for help uh, to forgive others. And in the second part of our lesson, we 
uh, heard about the story, the parable of the unforgiving servant. Now in this parable, we had the king and he was listening to the servant and this servant owed the king a lot of money. But what did the king do? The king uh, forgave the debt, forgave how much money that uh, the servant owes. He, the, so the servant didn't have to pay back all that money that the servant owed. So what does this parable teach us? Well, in this parable, let's try to figure out who these people are first. In, in the parable, we start with the king. Now, the king in this story represents, do you know who? That's right. The king represents God. As well, in the story, we had the servant. And in, this, uh, in the story, the servant, can you guess who does, he, who does the servant represent? That's right. The servant represents us. You boys and girls, us teachers, everybody, everybody else, everyone that is represented by the servant. Now, unlike the servant in the story, we don't owe God a lot of money. But we do owe God a lot. And it's because of our sin against God. Our sinning against God, we owe God so much. But unfortunately, there's no amount of money in the world that could pay God back. Even if we had a million billion dollars, there's nothing that we could pay God to make it right with God. But fortunately, just like in the story where the king forgave the servant of his debt, God forgives our debt. He forgives our sin against him through his son, Jesus, through his uh, son, Jesus's sacrifice for us. His sacrifice dying on the cross for us is able to get rid of the debt that we owe God uh, to make it right with God. Okay, so let's get to the second part of the parable. Now, the second part of the parable, we had the servant and the servant is us. And we have another servant. Now, who is the other servant? Well, the other servant is, represents everybody else around us. Our brothers and sisters, our family, our friends, the people around us, our neighbors, our teammates, uh, basically anyone you get close to. So what happens in this story? The other servant owes the servant money. But what does the servant do? Does the servant forgive the other servant's debt like the king just did for him? No, uh, he does the opposite, right? The servant gets mad. He throws the other servant in jail until he's able to, to pay off his debt. So he does the opposite of what the king did in terms of forgiving the debt. And when the king hears about this, he doesn't like it, right? He, heard, he hears what the servant did and he... He then throws that servant into jail until he's able to pay off his debt. So as a part of today's application, uh, you might be asking yourself, well, why do I need to forgive someone that does something bad to me or hurts my feelings? And the biggest reason is, kind of like we learned from the parable, the story, that God was able to forgive our debt. He was able to forgive our sins first. If God is able to forgive us, why can't we forgive others? Are we more important than God? Are we better than God that we don't need to we don't need to forgive people? Just, you know, God forgave us, but we don't need to because we're better? No. And just like uh, the king when he heard uh, about the servant not forgiving the other servant, the king got angry and mad, right? And and put that servant in jail. Well, same thing with God. When God uh, hears that we're not able to forgive others, he's not happy with us either. So let's try to remember this parable of the forgiving servant. The next time uh, someone does uh, you know, something to, to hurt your feelings, let's remember the, you know, how the king forgave the servant of his debt. Let's remember how God forgave our sins through his son, Jesus, uh, and the next time, like I said, someone uh, maybe says something that you don't like or does something that you don't like, 
uh, let's try to, to be forgiving uh, to them as well, as God uh, was to us. And, you know, forgiving, it's not easy. I definitely know that, uh, you know, personally. Uh, but, you know, when it gets difficult, that's the times that we need to really look to Jesus, uh, ask him for help, ask him for help being forgiving uh, to those around us that uh, we feel uh, you know, is not, is not doing something that makes us feel good. And with that said, we're going to close in prayer, and then our Pastor David will lead us in the Lord's Prayer. So let's pray. Let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and I'll pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again so much for uh, giving me this time to speak with the children, Lord, through these videos, Lord. Thank you so much for uh, giving us this lesson, uh, giving us this message about the parable of the unforgiving servant, Lord, and just uh, uh, teaching us about forgiveness, teaching us uh, how you were able to forgive our sins through your son, Jesus, Lord. Thank you so much for his, uh, his sacrifice for us, Lord. Lord, I pray that the children uh, can just really keep forgiveness in their heart, Lord, uh, uh, asking Jesus for help when they need it, Lord, just as uh, we are still, uh, you know, away from church, Lord, I pray that uh, the Sunday school uh, can resume to, uh, to in-person worship uh, as soon as we can, Lord. And until that time, Lord, just continue worshiping through these videos. Uh, just keep the kids focused on you and you alone. And I pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. All right, children, till next time. All right, Sunday School, so that brings us to the end of our online worship service today. I hope you are doing well. Uh, we say this every week, but we are praying for you every single day, and we hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you, Teacher Doug, for speaking for us today. And Sunday School, remember how important it is to forgive. Um, that we need to forgive each other, just like Christ forgave us. So, you know, uh, have a great week in the Lord. Uh, put a live to put a smile on his face. And with that, let's bow our heads, let's close our eyes, and we're going to end in the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right. Bye, Sunday school!